All right, as we move back in the pen, we get to see what we were really been hoping for. These things are now, I think, three days, four days old as we look at them right here. But there is a little white albino buck. A little beautiful little baby. He's got the pink eyes and everything. Got the pink nose, I mean, blue eyes, pink nose. Just a beautiful little rascal. They're twins. They seem to be doing fine. They're relatively lethargic. They seem like they sleep quite a bit. I've been worried about them. But, uh, but they've actually been doing, doing really well. I don't know if I can pick that little boy up or not. I actually uh, was in here, I guess it was yesterday or day before, and uh, picked one of them up and held her up close. We'll have it in Lucy's herd video uh, Friday or Saturday and one of those videos right there. And look right over here. <laughs> He's up here licking on my arm. He's up here licking on my arm. Isn't that something? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now he really pays a lot of attention to those babies and so far he's been very, 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 very nice to them. You see he's going to go over there, back up. He's going to go over there and maybe lick the baby a little bit. Just a little bit, one lick he gave. But he's been very nice to them. He's paid a lot of attention to them. And uh, he's wanting more carrots. <laughs> he's definitely wanting more carrots. But you can see they've got the fawn colors on them. It's usually dark on there on there. It's just a light. Now that will probably turn to snow white, I would imagine. It's a... <laughs> I promise you, big boy here is just... <laughs> he's just messing around me just constantly. But that is a beautiful, beautiful little albino buck. We had twin bucks. And that's just as precious as they come right there. Uh, they're still pretty wobbly on their feet, even though they're three or four days old. But now he walked up the hill here. He was laying down there in a the corner. They like to lay in the corners. When the other one likes to lay by the water trough, we'll go around by the water trough and, and see if that little deer is laying there and see how he is this morning. I come out here and check on them often. I just worry about them, making sure that she's feeding them and they're staying real healthy. But obviously, with four days old, they'd be, they'd be dead now if she wasn't taking care of them good. But I'm, we're hopefully we're going to watch them closely and not, not let them not let them get sick or anything. We can always take them out and feed them by bottle if we have to. But we'd rather not do that, particularly because they're bucks. Uh, we already got one buck, little whitey, which was actually the second buck born, not the first one. We'll kind of explain that as we go, but we lost the first little whitey and uh, evidently those were brothers, twin brothers, and the mamas just absolutely didn't take care of either one of them. We came very close to losing them both. Look at the blue eyes. You see when he turned right there, those beautiful blue eyes? That is a treasure right there. Okay, you can see I had no problem at all picking the little boy up. Like I said, they're very lethargic. I hope that means that they're not hurt. Uh, I've heard that white deer have a little bit of problem with, uh, with having birth defects and various things wrong with them. This little guy seems fine. They do lay around an awful lot. They don't seem to have got quite as strong as they should for three or four days old, but they are beautiful. Look at that beautiful little boy right there. Isn't he beautiful? Now, if we have to, we'll take these out and, and, and raise them by bottle. But uh, hopefully, the mom is taking care of them right now. Hopefully, they're going to be fine. I picked one of these up the, a couple of days ago, and he did this right here, and just perfect, just like a little little pet deer uh, would do. That it's, it's totally comfortable with you. But then he got kind of wild. It's like maybe once he woke up good and found out I was holding him, he got kind of wild. But you can see just how how beautiful they really are. And uh, as I look off down there, I see uh, that one following Snow White.
That's what we want to see right there. Both the little babies eating some breakfast. We know they got to have plenty of food and they got to have it pretty often. And like I said, I worry about them, but I know that she's taking care of them because if they demanded them, they get reeked very, very quickly, very, very quickly. But you can see both of the little critters are eating. She's licking their bottom, making sure they can go to the bathroom. And the little tail starting to wag over there on that other one. We got to name those two. Got to give them some names. And I might try to put a couple little collars on them so we can tell them apart. While I can still pick them up, I don't know if I can pick them up much longer. But I was able to pick that one up this morning so I could put a little soft deal of some sort on him. Uh, put a, two different colors on. They're both boys, so put two different colors on so we'll be able to tell them apart. I can't tell them apart right now. They're what I would say identical twins. Now, I don't know if they'll grow up that way, but she says, you need to poop. Now, one of them got him something to eat, and he went over and laid down. It looks like his brother's going to go down and lay, over, lay down with him. I could just look at them for hours. I just watch them and watch them and watch them. And I know we're spending a lot of time with these albinos and probably shouldn't be doing that, but they're just so rare. Never seen one out in a while while I was hunting at all. I saw one on the side of the road one time up in Minnesota. Some people told me that there was someone out there, got out there with the cows in the evening and I drove by there two or three days and finally about the third day, sure enough, I saw that albino doe out there with some cattle and she sure was pretty. I'm not sure she's as pretty as Snow White. Oh, we have a little more breakfast. Can I have a little more breakfast, Mama? You see, now she's having a hard time finding the udders, so they're going to be just like her, their Mama. They're going to find everything by scent, it seems like. But uh, if she will raise them, we will allow her to do that. And uh, they ought to turn into beautiful little white bucks. They are bred to a real, real trophy albino, so they could be dandies. We could have fun watching their antlers grow. We have run into a beautiful little buck. And you can see he's hiding there by that little log. I'm going to get up as close as I can. You can get fairly close to him. It probably would be almost impossible to pick him up. You can see he's looking over here at me. His mama's told him to lay there, and that's exactly what he's doing is laying there. And, uh, but he is a beautiful little buck. He's just gorgeous. He's got the tag in the right ear. That means he's a buck. And uh, what we've had born so far, I think, and I believe that is counting the albinos, that we have born that's still alive. We lost the first one, uh, Little Whitey, and we named the second one Little Whitey. And that's the one that Sherry and Jordan have, uh, have taken to raise because he was definitely uh, just about dead. We're, we fought him back to life, and so that's good. Now, the little crippled deer in here, we may end up having to take her. I'm just not sure. Green Tag's the mama, and uh, Green Tag is pretty possessive of that little deer. So, of course, we could always let Link Green, tier, green uh, Tag out. She has lived in the wild, and I think she will be just fine out there. All right. Oh. <laughs> split ear, split ear is just grabbing a hold of the, grabbing a hold of my tripod. I uh, using it as a monopod, but uh, she grabbed a hold of it. That's a beautiful little buck deer right there. Okay, I just found another one of the little baby girls. You can see that's a pretty good sized baby girl right there. Uh, that's probably the first baby girl that was, uh, was born. And I don't know which one has got the split hoof. Um, this one or the other one, both of them laying down, you can't really tell. I told Apache to really watch that girl real closely, make sure she's getting plenty to eat. And uh, obviously she's being fed or she would not be alive because these deer are, uh, I guess we're born the 25th or 26th, so there, look at her. You need to lay her head back down there and kind of hide from me a little bit. 
but she is absolutely gorgeous. She's a good sized deer. I think that other deer up there is probably the one that's split hood. She's a little bit smaller, but uh, that's one of the girls. And uh, like I said, there's, uh, there's uh, I believe three bucks here and then a uh, little whitey, which uh, Jordan and Sherry have, have that deer this week. Well, I just found another one and right there he is. That's a real pretty little boy. A little boy buck laying right there. You notice they like to lay up against the fence and they like to also lay by something. Uh, they lay in by buckets or little water troughs or whatever they can lay by. And they lay where their mama tells them to lay is exactly what they're doing. And they don't really much get up and move around unless you get over around them, they get up and move around. That's another beautiful little buck. Hopefully we can uh, raise most of these through the summer and won't lose hardly any. We had very, very good success last year. Uh, putting that humeric acid down uh, in the pen about once a month and we'll be doing that again all summer. Uh, it's only about $600 a pallet for that, uh, probably more than that now, but then the freight is more than that. So it's got really expensive, but it lasts a pretty good ways because we don't really have to put it in a lot of places. We do put it around the house also. And uh, what it does is it keeps the, keeps the flies and stuff down on the ground. And plus we're using some other fly stuff in here that we put down once a month that uh, burrow down in the ground and uh, need to fly larvae before they hatch out. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, have even better luck this year. Uh, we're learning as we go on uh, how to do this a little bit better. And we still lose one every now and then, which is heartbreaking, but for the most part, for the most part, we're doing pretty good. And that's a perfect example of it right there. <laughs> and right there is the fifth little baby in the pen. That's a little baby buck. You can see he's hit out really, really well. So that may be what we have in here right now. That's three bucks and two does that we've had a chance to look at. And you can see that they're all very healthy and doing well. The only problem we've got is, uh, now there may be one more buck in here. I'm just not sure. I'm gonna look over here real real close around and see. Uh, but I think that, uh, I think we've had four bucks in the pen uh, that are alive and two does. And one buck is little whitey, which uh, like I said, many times, Jordan's taking care of that deer at her house this week, so, which is my old house. So I have a little baby buck in my old house on Lake Tenkiller. You know, I still own that house. Jordan's just living there, but uh, spending money taking care of it, but that's good because she's, she's an awfully good girl. She is an awfully good girl and she loves that little baby deer, but uh, that's a little baby buck right there and he's just perfectly happy and content. Uh, I doubt that I could pick this, the, any of these deer up. Uh, you know, they, you could run them down, but and catch them. But I, uh, they, you know, they're they're all uh, they're born 25, 26. I think maybe 25, 26, maybe 25, 26, 27 of May. So, um, but we should have a passel more of them coming here pretty soon. Maybe all month long. We don't really know. Whitey's done his job really well. It looks like because. Uh, so we've looked at three bucks and two little does. I'm gonna look around a little more, but I think that's about it if I've got my numbers right. I'm off work tomorrow. If I need to babysit, I can. <laughs> Who said that? Aunt Lou. <laughs> Aunt Lou, she'll take care of the deer. Mm -hmm. I think he loves you, baby. Mm -hmm. You love him? I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Everybody loves him. Everybody loves little Whitey. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's a... He slept all night. Really? He's what? He slept all night. Did he? Dad or I didn't hear him enough to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah, you probably didn't hear him. You probably didn't sleep all night. Of course, I He fed probably him. thought if they put me he with now, didn't get up and feed me. I'm hungry. Uh, I'm a little boy. I got to eat pretty before. often. Hey, baby. I fed him hey, baby about midnight boy. right before I went to bed. How you doing? How you doing, doing baby? Yeah. And so he's, he's, he's such a pretty little boy. got up at 8 and went outside. Did his duty. Yep. I mean, he's gone through probably three bottles today. He has? He's really yeah. eating good, huh? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, he's taking at least three ounces at a time normally. Well, ask Jordan if she's going to bring him back to see you this week while you're yeah, here. I'm sure. Well, I'm coming up here for dinner. So. <laughs> oh, there you go. Jordan's coming for dinner, huh? Well, we'll have to bring little Whitey with you. Yep. He does really good in the car. Does he? Yeah, he just lays down the floorboard. Really? Mm -hmm. way he's not fighting you or anything. He thinks he's, well, he's, he just, he don't, he's, he's perfectly happy. He likes people, but he likes deer, probably. He's him and, a, him and Lily play. Oh, did he? Yeah. He's a leopard deer. 
Lapidir or a Labrador? I don't know when. It's Lapidir. I guess that's it. Likes to sit in your lap. He's a pretty little guy, isn't he, honey? Oh, he's a real pretty. He's beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> he is real pretty. You're right. Well, that's going to be your boy. <laughs> You're going to have to take care of him. A little hardship pounding. I'm, hope, I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping one of them will give up one of the little girls, too. So far, the mamas is taking care of everybody pretty good. I thought maybe the white ones, of course, those are bucks also. We don't need bucks. We need a little girl. We need a little Lucy. Lucy Lou. Lucille or something. Another little Lucy. Never be another deer like Lucy. Although little Whitey's getting pretty close, isn't he? <laughs> He's stolen a lot of hearts. He has stolen a lot of hearts, little boy. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to go look around. I'm going to go look around. What are you doing? Yeah. I got to explore. I hadn't been in this room. I haven't been to this room. I have to explore around a little bit. Hey, little boy. Did you take him out and see if he'd do any zoomies, Jordan? Oh, yeah. He, he spent most of the day outside. Did he? Yeah. Will he run with you? Uh, I didn't try and run with him. He was running with Lily. Was he running with Lily? Really? I'll yeah, be dang. Do we have to deer proof the plug ins? <laughs> don't don't stick your finger in the plug in there, little whitey. Little whitey, don't don't stick your nose in the plug in either. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely a people deer, isn't he? He's a person deer. He said, I like it in here. There's Sherry. There's Sherry. So you already forgot Sherry? So no way. Hey, Jordan's baby boy, Dad. Oh, I don't know. Looky there. I don't think he's forgot Sherry. Oh, there's there's my mama. I thought my mama got run over by a truck. <laughs> I thought my mama got run over, and here she is. Oh, my gosh, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, he got excited when he saw Sherry. So I know you, lady. <laughs> Look at that, Chris. Isn't that something? That's pretty special, isn't it? Quite a little baby boy right there. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. That's my mama. You didn't get run over by a truck at all. <laughs> well, little Whitey has got, the, got it made in the shade, I promise you. He has definitely got it made. All he's got to do is look hungry. Somebody gonna put a bottle in his mouth. Yeah, buddy. This is better than a real mama. Yeah, sometimes they won't let you have it. These girls. <laughs> what a little lover you are. Keep your nose out of the socket. Where are you going? Where are you going, big boy? Where are you going? Dude? What you gonna do is gonna poop on the floor? Probably go in and go to bed. I'm tired. I'm tired of you. He's going to get in the basket.